Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this video, I will show you the new workflow for Adobe SpeedGrade CC. And I'm very excited about this because it is insanely faster than it was before. And I think it's going to make it very easy and very doable to speed grade all the projects that I'll be working on in the future. So I'm going to open up an old uh, project that I had here and I created a new timeline and as you could have seen this is a regular Adobe Premiere Pro project. So I as you can see this is a video which is already on my YouTube channel and I had to do this project with a very limited budget and also with a limited amount of time to work with so I did not have the time to color grade everything and get everything done correctly especially that in the old days to open up the sequence like this I would have had to convert everything and that would have taken probably about a week to convert all those files here and then maybe a couple of days to do the color correction and then another week to export it to Premiere and have something to work from there and I just didn't have the time for that project but with the new upgrade here uh, you have uh, in the bottom here when you started off normally you have the little wheels like that uh, personally I'm more used to working with RGB values uh, that's what I've been working for uh, since the early 1990s so I'm used with these sliders more but the option is there if you prefer the wheels if you prefer the sliders or if you prefer to just put in the numbers manually like that and on top here you have input saturation pivot contrast, temperature, magenta, and final saturation. And let's go, let's see, this clip here looked uh, very yellowish. So I'm gonna select the clip and I'm gonna go in overall to affect the whole image. Or you can select just shadows, midtones, or highlights. But in this case, I want to do the entire image. And I'm gonna play a bit with the temperature of the image. So I'm going to bring it down to probably somewhere around here would make the wood and the skin tones look more realistic. And as you can see from this shot here, you know, that looks more uh, normal. So that way I can go to this clip here and do the same thing. Oops, maybe not quite as much. There we go. And you can go so on and so forth like that, fixing each clip that you want to fix. Very quickly, very easily. All right, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make the entire image a bit brighter so it matches more with the other one. And here I just did the midtones instead of the overall. So overall I have the color temperature, but in midtones I have only, I'm bringing only the midtones uh, brighter. And I can go so on and so forth. Fix the color temperature here. And actually, if I select this clip here, you know, I could probably stand to warm up this one a little bit more too and kind of meet the others in the middle. So there you can see it's uh, very quick to color grade a project this way. And once you are done, you just save the current project. And then if you go in Adobe Premiere Pro, 
you can see that the clips have been color graded and you can see that's uh, quite an improvement from the original in a very short amount of time and if you look this is the original one so you can see that's very yellow so you can see the improvement uh, just by changing the color temperature I like it a lot better the new way and with the new workflow for Adobe SpeedGrade uh, it's something that I see myself doing much more in the future so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them in the box below if you like the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.